hospital where we will all Randy Shinburn. We will continue to invest in the highest priority needs of our providers and medical care team so that they can create the best possible healing environment for everyone they serve. And how exciting is it to know that just in a few days, people will be walking through these very doors and they will have the confidence of knowing that they will be receiving the very best care possible in this state-of-the-art facility. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you, Marcia. Next up is, I would like to invite up our distinguished mayor, Dale Sainbrook, to share his thoughts on this historic moment in Riverview history and the Kirkson community. Good evening. Thank you for coming to celebrate the Riverview Health ribbon cutting of the new and improved facility here in Crookston. Thank you to CEO Barry Mikulski, Riverview Board of Directors, Riverview Health leadership staff, and everyone that had aided in the completion of this amazing project. As the current mayor for the city of Crookston, I'm grateful to Riverview Health for their dedication and commitment to the city of Crookston. Riverview Health has been here since the business was founded and gone through many changes, facelifts, expansions, and renovations throughout that time. A few years ago, River, the Riverview Health Board of Directors began determining the best option for the facility. There were discussions about remodeling, renovations, or demolishing and reconstruction. In the end, it was determined the best option was a combination of both demolition and remodeling. The determination was made on how best to proceed and designs were completed and cost ed estimates were produced. We are here today to celebrate the grand reopening of this wonderful facility. We are fortunate to have such wonderful service and excellent staff available to us all hours of the day in some of our most stressful and difficult times. We cannot say thank you enough to Riverview for their foresight and dedication to the community. This new facility will be a wonderful asset and provide the community with needed service. As one of our large, largest employees in the city, we wish to thank Riverview Health and we appreciate all you do and have done for the citizens of Crookston and surrounding areas to provide world-class health care in rural settings. Congratulations on this amazing achievement and thank you. Thank you, Dale. We'll turn next to our visionary chief medical officer, Dr. Colin Fennell. We're gonna look back at this 10 years, 15 years from now, and all the pictures that are taken today, and we're gonna laugh about these masks we're wearing. Um, this will go away, folks. We're gonna be better one day. It's sad we can't celebrate this the way we were hoping to. This was supposed to be the grand opening for, for the building and everybody was supposed to be inside and stay around, but we're not quite at that level where we can do that safely, so we have to do what we have to do. Crooks is my new adopted home. I've been uh, here for 18 years. I've had an opportunity to watch the healthcare in this city develop and evolve. We've had a, a persisting vision from the beginning of excellence the development of a medical staff that was capable of providing more and more services to a rural area. We're now doing things at the hospital that are not were conceivable two decades ago, and this continues to push forward. This new building is a, a shining example of that resilience, of how we've pushed hard through a lot of different issues in the last 10, 15 years, and taken this small community hospital and developed it now to a regional healthcare center. We all are very proud of what we've developed, of all the things that have gone wrong in the last 
two years between the economy and the, and the, epide and the epidemic that's taking place. The fact that this has come to fruition has come from the, the strong, strong leadership that we've had at this building. Success has 500 parents, and we have had 500 parents in every different way take their, their one role is within the building of this, uh, this facility, and they've taken their job super seriously, and we've created something that's un unimaginable. This hospital, and I've worked in many hospitals around the country, this is the nicest building I've ever been in. So I'm so proud to be here tonight. The, uh, I, I tell the people of Preston, look forward to what we have. It's going to continue to get better because of the management and the team we have before you. So Preston, good luck with this. Thank you, Dr. Fennell. Next up is Jason Toso of Mortensen, Mortensen Construction. Um, what an exceptional job he's been here. I mean, we talked planning started, I think this started earlier, maybe about four, close to four years ago. And I mean, Jason's been around giving us tours and you know, really leading the ship on this construction crew for years now. So very excited. As Andy said, I'm Jason Toso, lead project manager here at Mortensen Construction. It is my pleasure to be your project manager for this. And uh, I enjoyed becoming a part of the community, becoming a part of this team. Um, this, this project is just, it's so surreal standing here under here, under this canopy, uh, staring at all of you. And as Andy had mentioned, a short 18 months ago, uh, we were breaking ground. Uh, we were just getting getting going and the excitement from the community was there, the excitement from the senior leadership team was there, uh, the trade construction community, the excitement was there too and we had brought some of our partners on board, uh, some good local partners with MEI and uh, Lunsick Plumbing uh, to go with our team with HPA and Paul will get up here after me and just a wonderful experience all the way around. Um, it's going to be one of those that in my career I know I look back on developed the relationships that we did here and just a great positive experience. Um, as I said during the groundbreaking 18 months ago uh, that the community of the district is going to be proud of what we have done and this week it has not been very exciting. Uh, that has been unwavering throughout the course of construction and I'm just really impressed with the effort that they have put forward, the focus on the community and they really truly do mean what it does for the community and giving care to them. It has been very impressive and I'm to invite up Paul Woodlars, our HPA project manager. HPA has been very pivotal in the success of this project. I think it's been mentioned multiple times in the number of staff that have touched this project to ensure that it's done right from day one. It's truly amazing to me, just the number of hours of commitment and I mean it's just it's just grueling when I think of it. Um, so thank you so much HPA for guiding all those processes for us. Thank you, Andy. Um, you know, Dr. Fennell mentioned the photos that we looked at in the 15 years, and it reminded me of the first time I came on site. I walked these hallways, and you've probably seen them. There's a, a number of aerial images of the facility from, you know, 50 years back, 60 years back, and kind of through the ages, or whichever you can list them. And as an architect, I always start by looking at that, and I, I, I wonder what was it, you know, what was the story that drove that addition? What was the story that, that drove that one? What was the vision behind that one? And so it, it reminded me of that, um, because I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing a photo of this at Ariel and, and, you know, wondering what that architect 40 years from now doing the next addition on this hospital is going to be thinking about, you know, why did we do what we did? And I would say that the reason we did what we did was through the vision of folks like Carrie, obviously with how her uh, vision and leadership, uh, this wouldn't be here today. The board, uh, the position, and, and maybe even most importantly, the staff of, of this facility. So they were involved with us with every step of the way relative to design, the design of the inpatient space, the design of the clinics, the mock-ups, everything that was done was hand in hand with them, and this is their building. Um, 
So just a few uh, folks that I'd like to recognize as a part of, uh, part of this effort. So um, in addition to myself, there's a, there's a big team back behind me that uh, uh, you know, were, were, were really the, the driving force behind the design. Rebecca Sanders, uh, uh, managing principal on the project. Oliver Booman, our design principal, who took that uh, vision of, of the leadership team and transformed it into this, into this building, molded that clay into, into the building we have here today. A couple of uh, other uh, local partners, Kelly Richard with Foss Architects, our interior designer. Uh, Rick Claussen uh, with Woodset Design on the uh, civil engineering and, and landscape architecture. Um, and finally, I, I would also be remiss not to mention uh, the great team at Mortensen. Uh, they've been a long partner of ours on a lot of different projects across the, the Midwest and uh, did a, a great job of, of taking the, the, the drawing of the bridge and, and, and turning it into the built uh, building. So. Congratulations to everyone up here on this on this stage. Congratulations to the staff, and congratulations to the community of Crookston and the surrounding area for uh, for having such a wonderful team, uh, such a wonderful healthcare team to take care of you. Uh, enjoy the building, and uh, I guess my three minutes are up, right? <laughs> Thank you. It, it's an honor to be a part of this. We are just moments away now. It's time to get this ribbon cut. Tonight, I am honored to introduce an amazing person, near and dear to all of us at Riverview Health, who have graciously agreed to cut this ribbon, signifying the completion of construction and the opening of our doors to the community. Mrs. Betty Juby began her career at Riverview Health on October 10th, 1978. In three days, Betty will celebrate her 42nd Riverview work anniversary and also her 91st birthday. Yes, Betty, that's the other side. Yes, Betty didn't take the day off. After raising three amazing children, Leanne, David, and Becky, she spent her 49th birthday orientating to her brand new job at Riverview Health. Twelve years ago, Betty transferred from her position in central steril sterilizing and working in the storeroom to becoming a greeter in our lobby. She has been the first face to smile at a new patient and set the tone for what patients and families should expect in a Riverview Health experience. For nearly 12 years, she has provided information, direction, coffee, smiles, and a welcome distraction from the day's ailments for all those who enter. She has been a regular voice delivering the Riverview news on KROX, and two years ago, when Riverview's board of directors committed to building a brand new hospital, Betty committed at age 89 to be here in her role to welcome our first patients through these doors behind us. COVID kind of threw us a curveball and changed Betty's routine a bit since March, but it will not take away her team, it will not take away um, her being able to give the community and her colleagues and this team an appropriate welcome to Riverview Health. Please give a warm welcome to Riverview employee, Betty Juby.
Thank you so much, Betty. It's a joy to work with you every day, and it made our night to have you here. All right. We now would like to direct your attention to the big screen. Um, and again, like Dr. Fennell uh, mentioned, this was not our primary plan. Um, we would wish for COVID to, to not be here with us and that we could just have all of you um, streaming into our building tonight. But in lieu of that, we've got a big screen viewing. We're gonna debut a video tour that we hope that you will um, enjoy. We can go ahead and play the video. We are so excited to have you with us today as we walk through and give you those first glimpses of this fabulous new hospital and clinic that's standing behind me. The team inside is going to walk you through the amenities and what you can expect when you're here on campus for your visits or to visit your loved ones. They are the folks that have designed this hospital to make it function, to deliver the best care possible. Just a few things about the exterior of the building. Everyone will notice this deep, dark brown, rich color of the brick. That's very intentional. We're sitting on the banks of the Red Lake River here in Crookston, where we have deep roots of agriculture and this deep, rich soil of the Red River Valley. And that's what we are portraying here in this hospital facility, this amenity for the region. We also use a lot of regional materials in this project, and you'll see those on the exterior and the interior, and a lot of regional artists to bring special qualities to the project and our healing environment. The bricks, these deep, rich brown bricks on the outside were produced in Hebron. They're regionally produced bricks, and we were so happy for them to be part of the project. I also want to take this time to do just a real special thank you from the bottom of my heart to Riverview Foundation and to all of you, each of you, individuals and businesses in the region that have participated in the capital campaign that really made us be able to complete this project over the last two years. To date, we've been overwhelmed with over $2 million of support. So when you step inside, those dollars were used to finish a medication space that we never had in our previous hospital to create beautiful family suites so that families can stay close to their loved ones in those important times where they don't want to be separated during that healing process. We're just overwhelmed with that, with that support. The campaign will run through um, this following February and there are still needs and still opportunities for everyone to participate. This is a community amenity. It is an association-based membership. This is the community's facility and we are just the facilitators to have a great place to deliver healing and healthcare. Thank you for being with us on this project and enjoy your trip inside. Hi, my name is Chris Bergman, Chief Operating Officer here at Real Review Health and I'm standing in our new lobby of our new building. Our building is approximately 80,000 square feet, and most of that is new construction. We took a design approach to this building, and our team members got an opportunity to have a lot of say in how their spaces were designed and how they were functioned. And I think the result of that has been a construction project that has been uh, fairly seamless. So on our first floor here, we have our new clinic. It takes all of our existing Crookston clinics and combines them into this uh, one new location. Our clinic has 48 exam rooms, four procedure rooms, and three consult rooms. It features an offstage work area that will allow for collaboration with our team members. It also includes provider offices that will give those individuals a spot to go for reprieve or maybe a little bit of uh, research. Our first floor also includes a large conference center. This room can be configured into one large room or divided into three smaller rooms. Our first floor also includes a newly designed gift shop as well as a lobby cafe amenity that was actually named after one of the founding members of our Riverview Health uh, Association, Dr. Holby. Our first floor also includes a uh, beautiful meditation space. It will allow patients and family members uh, an opportunity to uh, go somewhere for prayer or reflection. Uh, this space is one of those uh, spaces that was a high priority for us to uh, include in this project. Now we'll move to our second floor, which is our hospital floor. Uh, it has 21 private patient rooms. Uh, four of those rooms uh, have an adjoining family suite that will function uh, very similar to an adjoining hotel room. 
Uh, all of our rooms have uh, private bathrooms and are much larger than any of our existing uh, rooms. Our second floor also includes uh, three labor and delivery suites that were beautifully designed by our team, uh, both functionally and aesthetically, and I think it'll provide a great environment uh, for new moms in our community. Overall, this is a project that our team is proud of and will only serve to enhance uh, the great care that we already deliver here at Riverview Health. Hi, I'm Ashley Cameron, Director of Quality here at Riverview Health. I'm currently sitting in our new clinic waiting area. I'm excited for our new patients and our new staff to be able to work and have care in this beautiful building. We are working at becoming safer together, increasing safety features and security features for staff and for our patients, while reducing harm across a continuum of care. We are able to open our new facility at Riverview Health with one central registration. You will be able to come to all your clinic needs, lab needs, radiology needs, right at one entrance. There has been considerable thought and effort put forth to make this a safe environment for everybody. I'm Shannon. I'm an LPN at the clinic, and we are in our family exam room. So this room is just giving us the ability to provide a larger space when coming in with family members for appointments. This room allows us to have more space for everyone to be comfortable and we've got the ability now in every exam room to have weights on our scales in the room instead of having to be out in the hallway. Things are more private. My name is Amy and I'm an RN at the Orthopedic Clinic here at Riverview. We are currently standing in the area that is designated for nurses, doctors, and other designated staff. It is considered what we call the off stage. Once you're finished with your exam, we'll have registration staff meet with you to schedule any follow-up appointments, x-rays, labs, um, or any further appointments you need with your doctor. My name's Heather and I am an RN here for the clinics. I'm here in one of our new procedure rooms. It's much more spacious than what we had before. There's a bathroom attached right here in the room. We have two brand new procedure rooms that are hospital rooms. We have two procedure rooms that are in the clinic. We're excited to use this new space and have this available for our, convenient for our patients as well as our staff. Hi, my name is Kelsey Billing, RN Health Coach and Healthcare Home Coordinator here at Riverview. Today I'm going to tell you about our new consult room. The purpose of these rooms is for one-on-one -on -one patient education for patients who have been newly diagnosed with chronic diseases, are going into specific surgeries, uh, or need help with one-on-one -on -one provider education in a more private space. The rooms are designed to be big enough to bring in family members or caregivers who the patients want as their extra set of ears and designed to be able to share information with one screen so the patient can look at what us as healthcare professionals are looking at and educating you on. So here we are in our immunization injection room. This space was designed for patients as um, adults and children to come in and receive any immunizations that are needed or injections that are scheduled from the provider. There are two chairs available, so we designed it for parents to be able to sit comfortably with their children, caregivers to come in with their spouses or those that they take care of daily, and have a comfortable place to sit and wait after the injection and prior to the injection. My name is Annie Waldahl. I am the director of our inpatient unit and emergency department here at Riverview. I'm sitting here today in the Riverview family waiting area on the new inpatient unit. When we designed our new inpatient unit, we knew that family was key to healing. And so we actually created our room to have a specific area for our families to be in. Not only that, do they get to be right in the room with their family, we also designed the space specific for the staff so that we're not overlapping and the loved one can be next to the bedside of our patients. We had a lot of fun designing our rooms. We actually created our rooms to be standardized, meaning every room has the same thing in the same spot. The reason why we wanted to do that is for number one, ease for the patients to move about their rooms and to know where to get things that, if, that they may need as well as for safety. Our staff can respond to an emergency situation and get to exactly what they need to at the right time. When we built the patient rooms, we designed what are called pass-through nurse servers. The pass-through nurse servers hold all of the supplies that nurses need at their fingertips in order to give the care that they need to give their patients. These pass-through servers on the top 
have full out drawers as well as on the bottom have room for linen, dirty linen and our trash. The beautiful part of these nurse servers are that they're access both from inside the room and outside of the room, meaning our EVS team as well as our supply team can stock the supplies and or take out the dirty linen or trash without even interrupting the patients or their families. When designing the rooms, we wanted to maximize our patient safety. And that's why when you come to see us, you're gonna notice that we have viewing windows and a small nurse's alcove outside of every two patient rooms. The reason why we did it that way is so that our staff can be present at all times for our patients. Hi, my name is Gina Lundin. I am a transitional care coach on the inpatient unit here at Riverview Health in Kirkston. And I am standing in one of our new state-of-the-art patient rooms. One of the features that we put into the design was an added space for families. There is a fold-out couch that can be used as a bed. We also have a couple rooms on the inpatient unit that are connected to an adjoining room. The family would be able to stay in that during the stay of the patient. One of the things that we wanted to bring back to the patient experience at Riverview was the view of the river. However, that wasn't possible to do for 25 beds. And so half of the rooms are facing the river. The other half, we wanted to make that a pleasant experience as well. So we added a garden terrace on the, that side of the hospital that when patients look out, they're able to look at greenery, plants, flowers, and hopefully that will help in their healing process. Hi, my name is Lisa Johnson. I am the OB coordinator here at Riverview. I'm super excited to be in the new hospital and the new OB rooms. The three OB rooms that we have are set up identical and have the same equipment and the same security for all of our moms and babies. The OB suites will have limited access for the safety and security of your family. The design of the room was very purposeful in the layout, in the color schemes, and the artwork. We have infant warmers in each of the rooms. We have sinks that are infant tubs built in so we can do swaddle baths as parents wish. All of our OB rooms have bathrooms equipped with showers and tubs. We have couches that can be beds in the room. All of these items have been chosen specifically to help the labor and delivery process be as comfortable, peaceful, and safe as possible. Hi, my name is Michelle Mullen. I'm an occupational therapist here at Riverview Health, and I'm here to welcome you to our rehab room on the new inpatient unit. You will notice that we have a washer and a dryer and a stove and a microwave. And these are all things that people use on a regular daily basis. We do many orthopedic surgeries here that result in our patients having precautions against bending, twisting, lifting, and the like. So the focus here is just on helping people compensate with their daily activities to learn how to do them within compliance of their new precautions. The physical therapy area of the rehab room would be the parallel bars, the new steps, and then our stairway. If there's difficulty with the stairs, that's what the new step and the parallel bars are there for to help strengthen them and get them ready to go home safe and independent and to try to um, prevent any further hospital stays. That's our goal. We are in one of the inpatient rooms right now, and we are in what I would say for an OT is one of the most exciting areas of the new inpatient rooms, and that's the bathroom. And the biggest reason for that is because they are so much more accessible than the bathrooms in our old building. The doorway is plenty wide in order to allow for a wheelchair or a walker, and the best part about it all is that it has its very own shower. Here, every patient has their very own bathroom, no sharing, and it's just gonna be a wonderful experience. Hi, I am April Dronov, Chief Nursing Officer and Vice President of Patient Care at Riverview Health. We are on the second floor of the new inpatient unit here in the new space. Riverview 2020 would not have been possible without the investment of time from and talent of our dedicated staff and providers who were involved in designing this space. Our innovative architecture partners at HGA, our safety-focused construction managers from Mortensen Construction, and their subcontractors that are working with them. Our wonderful donors who dedicated their financial support for this project. 
and our dear patients who choose Riverview for their care. We are sincerely grateful and truly blessed. We look forward to providing our patients exceptional care in this new space. Thank you so much. We hope that you enjoyed the video, and I want to thank Stacy Bruggeman, our marketing and communications director, for all her work to put together the video and this non-traditional ribbon cutting, and all of our staff for hosting the video tour. We have the best staff in healthcare. Um, deserve the. No matter what the position, our staff um, are so passionate about the work and the, the, the care that they give to the community, and I wouldn't work any place else. We will make this video available on our website and through social media um, after this event for others to see. Um, we are at about um, 7.45, we're just coming on 7.45 now. And so we have about 30 minutes um, before our um, fireworks display will start to cap off the evening. That will happen um, at 8.15. And um, the fireworks will be um, displayed over the Red Lake River. We are really proud to return the orientation of Riverview Health to the Red Lake River. So we are very grateful um, from the Crookston Fire Department and the City of Crookston for allowing us the opportunity um, to choose a new firework launching site for Crookston tonight um, so that those can be shot over the river directly across from our new hospital. Um, viewing from this parking lot will be great. Um, we also have an area in our north parking lot and it is paved all the way to the left is our conference center um, that you saw in the video with the lights lit. Um, so if you go um, around the corner to the north, there's also some space in the north parking lot where you can spread out to enjoy um, the fireworks this evening. Um, there is some area there where cars are not allowed, so if you have a lawn chair and would like to enjoy that way, we've got some room um, to be able to do that on our north parking lot as well. Um, just some safety announcements. Um, for safety reasons, we must have everyone tonight for the fireworks remain on our parking lot um, or on the grass areas um, behind the conference center that are uh, behind our building. Um, the, the grassy areas from our parking lot on the banks of the Red Lake River are within our safety protection zone for the fireworks this evening. So we would just ask you to refrain from um, encroaching on that river bank tonight. We also, around the corner behind um, the conference center, have some portable restrooms. Um, if anyone is in need of those facilities um, between now and the fireworks. Um, and we still have water and kettle corn um, that you can enjoy as well um, as we um, socialize and wait for um, the big finale. We would ask you um, during this time to continue to practice social distancing distancing and wear a mask um, when you leave your vehicle and will be within six feet of others who are not in your immediate family. Um, we've got a pretty big crowd tonight um, also, so we would ask after the fireworks conclude um, that we use courtesy and patience and have a safe exit from our campus for everyone's safety. Um, I also just want to take another opportunity to thank so much um, for all of you to, that came out or are streaming. Um, our festivities this evening. Um, this is your facility designed by our caregivers and it's a community asset and a regional asset. Um, and we want you um, to feel part of it um, because it, it generally is yours. Thank you to our partners at KROX um, for allowing the streaming so that more people can stay socially distanced and enjoy tonight's facilities. Um, if you are listening um, the, or the streaming and you're still going to head out to enjoy the fireworks tonight, um, you can also do that from the other side of the river, um, such as behind True Value downtown, 
um, in Crooks and will be excellent viewing sites for the fireworks if you're still looking um, to head out with your family and enjoy those. So enjoy the rest of your evening. We um, are so grateful for all of your support um, throughout this journey and we just cannot wait to serve you in these new facilities. Thank you so much. We'll have the stream of the fireworks that could be coming up on KOLK on the panel. 